Hello, fellow chicken fanatics. I just knocked over a mini Christmas tree. I'm, <laughs> my name is Daisy, and this is my model for today's um, video. Her name is Liebchen, and she is a um, black frizzled coach and cross. She has a rose comb. Cochins do not usually have rose combs, so she has something else mixed in with her. Anyways, today I'm going to show you how to make a chicken diaper or a bird diaper. I actually use this pattern on all of my birds. The head that keeps poking out. This is my pigeon Soren. She's on cabinets, pooping on cabinets. Um, I use this pattern for all of my different birds, my um, chickens and pigeons, and um, it works great on both of their different body types. Um, I usually... It depends on which bird I'm using, um, but I will show you how it usually, how it should fit on your bird. And I'm sorry, it keeps overexposing. I'm filming this out in my freezing shop right now. So this is essentially a pouch. The vent is about right here on my bird. And um, this diaper is actually a bit tight. It's for my Millie Fleur, but um, this was one of the only clean diapers that I have right now. And the fabric comes up to about here so the middle of her breastbone or her breastbone ends about right here and the diaper ends about here or at least the fabric part after the fabric part ends there is elastic it's black so it kind of blends in with her feathers i have so many people go whoa i didn't know chicken chickens feathers came like that no no it's her diaper but this is elastic right here, and it comes all the way up on the back and um, attaches to the back of right here on her diaper. And in the middle of her back between her two wings is Velcro. I usually use black Velcro on my bird, but again, this diaper is not for my lovely little coach and cross. So to make a chicken diaper, um, this is cotton. I usually use cotton during um, summer shows and fair because it just, um, it it's easier to wash and um, it's a bit lighter fabric so the bird isn't getting too overheated. But otherwise, I usually use fleece. I would recommend fleece if you're hand sewing it because um, the cotton does, or the fleece does not fray, and the cotton does, and the chickens like to pull on the um, strings that come off of the cotton, and you don't want your bird eating strings that are coming off cotton. So I would suggest fleece for people who are sewing it by hand, but otherwise you can use cotton for the chicken diapers. She's, she sees my pigeon sore right here. Um, to begin the process, and I'm sorry, I'm not actually going to make a chicken diaper in front of the video because I don't want this video to be 5,000 years long. So I have a tape measure right here, and it's a soft kind because I don't, I wouldn't suggest using an actual roller on your chicken. But I'm taking it and um, putting it right about where her wing her wing bow is. So right here, this is her wing tip, putting it right here and pulling it all the way down to about the base of her tail. And she's eight inches from the wing to the tail. So I would usually put about um, 10 inches on the elastic so that way um, you can sew an inch on each side of the fabric. And I can show you how I do actually have the diaper. So the elastic sews onto here and I actually did um, part hand sewing and part machine sewing on this and you can see that um, this is one of my older diapers that I did and I wanted to show you this because this is what happens when you use cotton and you don't machine sew it. Um, it frays a lot and your birds like to pull on this and eat it and I just really don't like birds eating string. It's just bad for them. Um, you wouldn't feed your bird spring string so you know why why have string for them to pull on. And then I do the same 
with the bottom part. So she measures eight inches from the base of the wing to the base of the tail. So um, I'm put, I usually have 10 inches of elastic and then for the actual diaper part, not the elastic, I would take seven inches of that and um, make this weird contraption. <laughs> so um, you cut out a long rectangle that folds or that kind of flows into a circle and then um, you shape the circle and cut out just another circle. It's like a half circle and then another half circle that you sew together to create the backpack tor site backpack type of um diaper and it just sits right on the bird like this and I usually cover my um velcro up because I show my birds so I don't like the velcro rubbing on their feathers and wearing them down right in the middle of their back where the judge can see it so I usually have a piece of fabric on the bottom and the top and um, some sort of cute doohickey like a bow or a flower or something. But this one is an older diaper that I did about a year ago. And I wanted to show you this because it frays and yada yada yada. Um, so after measuring your bird, I would cut out the pattern, which... Thank you, Soren. You can measure to know how um, wide to go with your rectangle part um, that goes under the bird's chest and to the vent. Um, I take from the base of the wing. So the base of the wing is about right here and then I go on to the other side where you can't see. Um, and that's about five inches, but you don't want your diaper to be all the way five inches. So if you cut that in half, that's about two and a half inches. So it's nice to just do two and a half inches to go all the way under. If you're doing it for, if you're making a diaper for a pigeon or um, any type of other bird that flies, not like a chicken, um, I would suggest doing a slender um, diaper and then making the elastic a bit longer and then making the pouch a bit longer as well because the birds fly and um, if you're doing it for geese or ducks as well, just make it a bit longer because their poop kind of squirts out more than just drops. So um, it would be best not to have the poop continuously rubbing on the bird's back feathers so then you wouldn't have to give your bird another bath and yada yada yada. Um, inside of the diaper, I am actually using two panty liners. So I flip the diaper inside out, put one panty liner facing um, front wise so from front to back and then another one from um, side to side it essentially makes it the cup type thing you can also do this with paper towels um, and I just bought dollar store panty liners it's easier and I stock up on them especially when I'm going to 4-H shows or fair it's just nice to have lots of them and then you don't actually have to wash the diaper unless poop gets on the front or inside the diaper not in um, the little pouch you've created with the panty liners, then I would suggest you wash it. And they are machine washable, so it's not that really hard. But I can also show you what it looks like on a pigeon. And it's my pigeon model over here. I apologize for the awful mess of the shop because it is still Christmas in this shop. hosted a big um, event creating centerpieces with 4-H and Girl Scouts. So this is Soren. She's my pigeon model. So um, it's the same type of technique that you put um, on the pigeon, or on the chicken, sorry. Um, you slip her feet between the elastic and fabric. Pull it up. Pigeons are tricky a little bit because they want to fly off. And this one's big on her. 
because it's for my Millie Fleur. So um, it covers up, but usually all of her diapers are a bit sl more slender um, in here. So they would come to about here. The elastic would be a bit longer and um, the pouch would be a bit longer because her poop, um, when she's flying, um, when she defecates, it kind of falls t um, back into the diaper instead of falling just straight down. And she can fly fine with the diaper on. Plus your parents will be a lot more happy if you have a chicken <laughs> chicken or pigeon in the house with a diaper. So um, I probably forgot something in this video. If you want to comment on it, and I hope you do say if it worked out for you or not. Um, I believe Chicken Mom on YouTube also has a tutorial on how to make a chicken diaper. Um, and another one, if you just search chicken diaper, I suggest you go watch their videos if you haven't already because um, taking my advice and their advice, putting them together, kind of gives you an idea to put, make your own sort of chicken diaper pattern. And I hope this works out for you and your feathered friends don't hate you too much for putting a thing that weighs them down. <laughs> um, yes. Please subscribe and I hope that this helps you.